Bromel of the USA, 9.77 uh, just this week. Marvin Bracey was not far behind him in Florida. Quick times in Florida uh, right throughout the season, really. But let's see if we can get something quick here tonight. Mudian Salage from Sri Lanka lives in Italy. So has not uh, far to come. CJ Green from Antigua, 25-year-old. His uh, 10-second flat again was uh, was in the same place in Miramar, in Florida. CJ uh, Uja from Great Britain, US based now, uh, but raced here in Italy uh, about six, seven days ago. Michael Rogers, the 36-year-old veteran from the USA now. He goes in lane four, fresh from a chilly night in Turku in Finland, where he finished second in the 100 meters there. Akani Simbine, first time we've seen him. He uh, ran 9.99 in the South African Championships, National Championships, so the quickest in the field so far this season. Then we got Arthur Cisse, quick 200 last year from Cisse, and uh, in reasonable form this year. Emmanuel Matari, he goes in lane seven, 30 year old Liberian. And then on the outside, fresh from his National Championships as well. As, uh, Winning the 100 and the 200 meters, Ali Harvey from Turkey. Difficult to really see here who you'd uh, pin your money on here. Sambine, as I said, the quickest in the field, but into Europe here. It was her first look at the Diamond League season. Mike Rogers, the American in four, Ujaz in three, Cisse perhaps in six. Very open race here to finish the men's 100 meter final. World lead, you can see 977. Don't think we'll see that tonight, but let's see if we can get close or under 10 seconds to finish off what's been a cracking night. Rogers as ever gets out well, so does Ujar and uh, Green next to him and Green perhaps just a little bit of a lead and then it's coming through right in the middle there, Simbine going well and it's going to be, ooh, Simbine gets it from CJ Ujar, very close, 10 0 8. well, he wasn't as quick as uh, one or two of the others out of the blocks, but what a strong finish from the South African. He did start as the warm favourite, Ujar continues his pretty solid form that he's shown all year. But the win goes to the South African 10-0-8. And I think he'll be pretty happy to have got the win here. As I said, it was an open field, but he probably was thinking to himself, I should win this. He did it by two hundredths of a second from the British athlete. Very close for third. But Simbine, despite perhaps not, uh, not as good out of the blocks, oh, I'm just looking at his reaction time, it was actually was not too bad. Cissé was the quickest, and CJ Green, as we said in lane two, got out quickly as well. But once he got into his uh, top speed, maintained well, came through for the win. Yeah, I agree. I think he probably did start his favourite to win that race. But CJ Uja, continuing his comeback from that uh, nasty back injury, and he will be pleased, I'm sure, with uh, second place. Let's uh, just uh, have a look at this again. You're right, Steve. The, the best start was actually by uh, Atio Cisse, third from left, a picture in the orange vest. But uh, Simbine got into his running, and Uja coming back strongly after that 10-0-3 in Walnut, which was uh, a terrific performance. The disappointment of uh, missing the World Championships in Doha. So it's good to see from a British perspective, if we can for a moment, see uh, CJ Uja coming back, but Simbine continuing his excellent form. And uh, he continues to be unbeaten, actually, since the World Championships in Doha in October 2019. Yeah, holds his form nice, just beginning to let it go a little bit. Uh, Uja, as you're saying, pushing him all the way. You just feel the men's hundreds yet to really catch light. I mean, that's some um, performance from um, Bracey and uh, Bramel earlier uh, in the week was very, very good. Of course, it is 9.77. Goodness sake, that's, that's, that's very, very quick. Uh, we know that sometimes, uh, not to cast any aspersions on those times in Florida, but you know they end up uh, coming and reproducing that in Europe and then into the into the things like the Olympics. Let's wait and see. But Bramel certainly fastest in the world by a long way at the moment. But that a good win from. Simbine, 
and that rounds off what has been a marvelous night the 100 meters might not have the performances there but we've seen them all over so many world leads uh, tonight and uh, you can take your pick really the women's 1500 the men's 5000 I, 